What's up, a Cinema Shogun here, and I have been on the road for the last 14 hours, and I am tired, but I have been keeping up with all of the updates in the Rudy Ferrius story, and of course, it's been really crazy. Now, I am sure that most of you all probably watched the press conference earlier today because Houston or the Houston Police Department had a press conference earlier today. Now, for those of you all who did not see it, I'm not going to play the whole press conference. It would be kind of pointless, but I will give you a quick rundown of what happened before we get into some other things about this story. But right off the bat, the press conference really rubbed me the wrong way because they didn't even show this story and this situation enough respect to dedicate a press conference solely to the Rudy Ferrius story. They're sitting here talking about dash cams and all this other type of stuff, and I'm just sitting here like, what? I mean, I've seen things like this happen before, but for the most part, stuff like this doesn't happen. We have a young man that was missing for eight years. And finally, finally, we're getting some acknowledgement from law enforcement, but they figured, oh, we're going to do a press conference, but we're going to make the press conference about two things. We're going to talk about funding for new dash cams, and we'll get around to talking about that kid who supposedly was turned into a sex slave for his mom. We'll get to that later, but first, let's talk dash cams. So right off the bat, it rubbed me the wrong way. And you see, this police chief in Houston, I've covered stories dealing with him before. The Houston Police Department has dropped the ball plenty of times. This is the same police chief that we were dealing with. I don't know how long you've been subbed to my channel. This is the same police chief we were dealing with during Astro World. And we know how badly law enforcement dropped the ball at Astro World. And it turns out, they have dropped the ball here in this story as well. Not only are they continuing to drop the ball, they're punting it right out of the football field. And they've been dropping the ball for the last eight years. Now, what big information was revealed at this press conference? Well, we heard the claims yesterday about what Rudy told the person who he opened up to. I believe his name is Quanell. He's an activist that they kind of get in, they bring in every now and then. He, he makes people feel comfortable with opening up and talking when they're not necessarily comfortable talking to law enforcement. Well, we've gone over all of the claims that Rudy made. I'm not going to go over them again here. It's some sick and twisted stuff. Well, law enforcement basically tried to downplay this entire situation in their press conference. They claimed that there was no um, I, 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 S.A. There was no S.A. No A-B-U-S-E of the sexual type. Okay, they say that basically, no, oh, Rudy didn't tell us that his mom did anything to him. That's what law enforcement said. Do I believe them? No. They also stated that they're not charging the mom. But guess what else we found out? We found out that law enforcement has had run-ins with Rudy several times over the years. Investigators or law enforcement has gone to Rudy and his mother's house. They've talked to Rudy and his mom, and they both gave fake names and fake aliases of who Rudy was. HPD, the Houston Police Department, we're well aware over the years that there was a big fabricated story going on. They had ran into Rudy plenty of times. And now they're not charging the mother as of right now. Do you want me to be honest with you all? A lot of people get upset when you criticize law enforcement, but let's be honest. The Houston Police Department, they're hesitating right now. They're reluctant to charge the mother in this situation because once charges get brought against the mother, that's almost an admission 
that the Houston Police Department dropped the ball for the last eight years. If they charge the mother for all of the crazy, sadistic stuff she did to Rudy, that's an admission right there that the Houston Police Department dropped the ball, that they failed Rudy. So when you look, you're like, why no charges yet? Why no charges yet? Why is the DA refusing to charge her for this? Charge her for that? Because once them charges get brought up, and I, I still think there may be charges brought against her, but once there is, they know people are going to start looking at them even harder. Because now, when you charge the woman, you admit that she did something wrong. And you already admitted that you've had run-in with Rudy's over the years, and you just let it slide, man. Locking people up for petty crimes every day, but hey, Rudy, you could be over here and be a sex slave for your mom. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. So that's the real deal of what's going on here, folks. Also, understand that law enforcement can be difficult. And when I say difficult, Rudy could sit down and spill his heart out to that Quanell dude. An investigator could be in the room. It doesn't matter because Quanell is not law enforcement. Rudy telling a regular person all of these horrible things that happened to him, that's different than Rudy giving a statement to law enforcement. That's what you have to understand. Now, typically, we would see law enforcement act, right? That's what you would think. But technically, if Rudy didn't look at the freaking detective and on record give a statement to the detective about what his mother did to him, then Rudy having this conversation with some random guy they brought in to make them feel more comfortable, that's not necessarily something they're going to use. Also, you see, they're really dodgy with questions. They make you believe that there was no essay. They make you believe that the mother didn't do anything to Rudy. But understand, they don't have to reveal all of the information. And if you listen closely to how they answer some of the questions, you quickly realize that they're kind of dodging the questions maybe for a reason. Doing things the legal way, the way the law works, it, it works in mysterious ways sometimes. It works in ways that a lot of us don't understand. One of the biggest issues we're dealing with when it comes to this story is the fact that Rudy's a grown man. So that plays a huge part when it comes to this. Rudy's not a child. But also, really think about the fact that law enforcement maybe doesn't want to reveal everything they think or everything they know right now. Because maybe right now they're trying to cook up a, a plan they're trying to figure out what they're going to get the mom on. They're also trying to figure out how to play this right in the public's eye. And in the meantime, they don't want Rudy's mom doing anything drastic. So if they got up there in that press conference today, it was like, yeah, Rudy's mom did this. Rudy told us all of this horrible stuff about his mom. That's putting Rudy in danger. Now, Quanell, he's not a professional cop. He's coming out here trying to expose the truth. And I appreciate that. A lot of people are mad at him right now. I appreciate that he was open and honest about what Rudy told him. Because I do, I do believe that some stories require public pressure. You have to understand that this whole situation should have not been allowed to go on for eight years. Eight years? That's insane. The cops dropped the ball for eight years. Someone needs to get the story out there. Pressure needs to be applied. I'm not mad at Quanell, but at the same time, you have to understand that a professional cop, they're thinking about things on different levels than the average person. So if they have to wait to figure out how they're going to take the mom down and they can't stop Rudy from being around the mom because Rudy's an adult, 
that can make that decision, they're not going to want to come out and be like, yeah, Rudy told us this, Rudy told us that, Rudy told us this. You're putting Rudy in danger by doing that. And also, you're letting the mother know how serious the situation is. The cops could lie to you all day, but you aren't supposed to lie to the cops. You got to understand that Janie, the mother, whatever name she's created now, she's a flight risk. And she's capable of hurting herself or Rudy. I don't think they want her to know. Okay? I don't think they want her to know what they got planned. And I damn sure I, I damn sure don't think they want her to know everything that Rudy told them. And also, I I, I may be mistaken. I, it may be different in certain states. I'm not sure. But when it comes to SA, like if someone does something sexually to you, like, you know what I mean? I don't think the cops are supposed to reveal details about that to media or to anyone. So they wouldn't necessarily tell you about that in the first place. But long story short, that's where we're at with what the Houston Police Department has to say. There are a lot more details and trust me, I'm aware of all of them. Okay, just relax. It's been a long day for me. I'm going to get the videos out. We're going to get to it. But for now, let me know your thoughts down below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.